It's a bidding war for valuable land in Broken Arrow. Developers are interested in buying property at Kenosha and Lynn Lane, but the BA City Council denied the offer, saying they'll develop it instead. New at 6, 2 News reporter Liz Bryant tells us what's planned for the site. Broken Arrow City officials think this land is best suited for restaurants. It's next to a handful of shopping centers, and right after you're done shopping, they want to keep your sales tax dollars with a place to eat. I've heard that there's going to be a, a Crackle Barrel and a Red Lobster. It's just a rumor. I don't know. David Randall is a cook at Monica's Cafe. Our special today is grilled pork chops. He sizzles his food right across the street from his soon-to-be restaurant competition. The more restaurants will bring in more business, and we got the, uh, the home cooking, you know, thing where other restaurants don't have that. This land is worth $5 million. Crews are scooping out the dirt and leveling the property. This area has extremely high traffic count. Broken Arrow officials say they're tired of losing money to Tulsa because there aren't a lot of places to eat next to the major shopping districts. <laughs> David believes it. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't think still realize that we're here because we kind of set back off the road and behind the Coney Island. Depending on a restaurant size, there's room for three or four. The city plans to secure a long-term lease with each and claims there are no sales tax incentives. We've had several inquiries, um, nothing that we can actually release. But we're not looking primarily for chains or anything like that. Back at Monica's, David isn't concerned about his competition for the Daily Special. He's concerned about the land. Tiger Hill's kind of been like a landmark for Broken Arrow. You know, and it's been there for years, and they hate to see it, you know, destroyed. We're up. Crews are scheduled to have this entire site leveled by August. After that, businesses that have signed on can start building. Reporting in Broken Arrow, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you. Crews leveling the area cost $1 million. It's paid for out of the 2010 sales tax package.